Hi everybody, it's Linda. So today was our first day of we're allowed to in-store shop for non-essential items. It became a bad zoo out there in the afternoon. But Maggie and I headed out early. Anyway, she gave me this coupon that she had in her mail. I already picked up a box so I can get another medium box at a small price. So thank you for the coupon. Now, Maggie had an appointment, so we um, delayed our departure. So I went to her Dollarama and I found, she has one and I bought myself one, the turntable. She's been trying to find a turntable for months, probably since Christmas or before Christmas, that we've been on the lookout for a turntable. So anyway, I bought myself one as well because I did want one to hold my um, tear tray I made years ago and so that we could turn around. And I also picked myself up one of these because I was trying to melt the wax in a candle but I couldn't get the, the flame down far enough to do it. Anyway, so that's what I picked up before we headed out on our journey. Our first stop, your dollar store with more. Okay. So I bought for myself, I saw this cute bag and had to have it. I have no idea what the prices are of anything, okay? Um, so it's just a little bag. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, but I do collect, um, it is a zipper bag. I do like collect little like makeup bags or whatever you want to call them. Oops, sorry, sorry. Just double check the camera. All right, <laughs> sorry. Okay, I picked up these rings. These are the four inch rings. And then uh, multi sizes because I thought I would try and do. I saw somebody take like a regular doily that they either cut off from a, a table runner or maybe it's just on its own and they attach it to this to make it look like a dream catcher. Like how adorable. And then Maggie said you could do three different sizes and hang them down. Wouldn't that be adorable? Anyway, so that's a future uh, to do. Here's some stickers I picked up. Paris, if you can see that. Isn't that cute? I really like those. Another thing for my wood collection, the Artist Palette. This was only, this actually did have a price, $1.50. Isn't that cute? And I started practicing with Bobby Jo, made this by hand, her calligraphy classes. So I picked up three more pens because one ink is black and one is blue. So I'm going to separate them and have um, one black and one blue and then I'll just have two extra pens but I do want to get the inks um, together you know all the blacks and all the blues together I don't remember buying this but it's in my bag so Maggie if this is supposed to be yours um, I'll give it to you uh, the bigger lobster clasps because um, for Chunky Charms sometimes you need bigger ones even though I think I should have bought even bigger than that but I didn't really see because it's hard to look at everything at once. And then ribbon clasps because uh, I thought I might need that for some projects. And then this huge um, pad of newspaper print, 40 sheets for $5. You can't, it's kind of pricey, but some of these pages can be used in junk journals. But I think what I'm going to do is when I'm working on something, I can lay this over my my table even though I do have craft paper there sometimes I want something else on top of that so I can use I can use this as um, protector and then we headed off to um, Dollar Tree on the way back to the, our cities so I picked up four more of these mask boxes because um, I'm telling you I love these things they're so they're such a great size uh, I bought this it, you just wore it around your neck and hang your glasses there. I used to have one and then I lost it for years and then I found it the other day. <laughs> so, but anyway, I just grabbed another one because the other one was supposed to stay at work, but somehow it ended up at home. And then I bought this. Now I already have this, but this size ring, the HP rings, they're very hard to find uh, to buy up here without paying a fortune. So I figured for dollar twenty-five, I got four rings and I have extra paper and extra. You know covers and cotton candy mints that'll be interesting to see what those taste like sugar-free but whatever I'm sure it'll still be good and then we went to we were about to go to Michael's but then we remembered a brand new Dollarama opened a few months ago on our route so we went to Dollarama so I, we found these flower buttons 
and these daisy only buttons. Aren't they adorable? I picked up, I finally found one of these, the zipper bags that look like a mason jar. I've been dying to have one of those, just I see how it would look in a journal. Um, a birthday card for a coworker that turns 50, who turns 50 at the end of the month. Okay. Um, I have her present, I just now, I needed a card. 10 of these for the kitchen. Because, uh, you know, the kitchen. This, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Like, I already have, um, Maggie made something that hangs in my kitchen for my towel. I'm not sure where this will go. Maybe in my bathroom. Anyway, we'll see. But yeah, so I have this like a towel hook magnetic clip hook so really you could do anything with it. um i also bought two of these fairy lights because i'm thinking i might want to try and hang them out up on, on our deck outside when that gets tidied up a bit more maggie suggested she told me a gross story about how this came in handy in her bathroom tub that's all i'm going to say um oh, sorry I bought these, these wooden stakes, to keep with my garden stuff. I don't have plans for it at the moment, but I thought I should get it because they're wood. I know people have used these for crafts. Um, as you can see, I bought this bird feeder. Because I did buy, I think I showed you in another, hang on, my thumb is getting in the way. I think I showed you in another video how I bought that thing. So this will hang off of it when I get the guys to uh, get one of the boys in the house to uh, install that that over there. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I bought two of these gap seal covers to cover the gap between the stove and the countertop. Can you see in the picture? Yeah, it's too late for me. There's a ton of mess between them, but until I clean it, th these can go in there. There's only one per package, so. Got that in. I couldn't resist this solo cup bucket. Hello, look how adorable that is. Okay, so that was Dollarama. And then we hit Michaels. So, let me put that away. Michaels, I picked up, oh my gosh, goodness, sorry about that. I picked up the smaller E6000 glue sticks or glue things. I bought myself, this is my first gilding wax, even though it's just called. Premium wax metallic finish, and it's a rose gold. It's the only one I could see. This was like 10 bucks, I think. Um, Maggie went through the line and used her um, coupon, her 30% off, to get me that. I used my 30% off to get me this. This was two bucks. This minty bling. And these brads were two bucks. I figured for the Christmas stash. Green and red. Yeah, I think all of these are two bucks. More snowflake brads because they're two bucks and I can't pass up more snowflakes. Eyelets because they're recollections and we'll see if these work like would work well with the crocodile. And I bought this wax seal for the letter N. Um, I think my niece, again, two dollars. I think my niece, whose name starts with N, I can give it to her because she's into crafts and maybe she can... I can get her into the wax seals and see if she wants to use that. If not, I'll just keep it. I don't know. I'll let her in. And what I originally wanted, one of the few things I really wanted from Michaels, the clear vellum, 40 pack. This was six bucks. So I was happy about that. And then we went to Dollar Tree. So um, this Dollar Tree I found the etching cream, the metal tags, they had recollection stuff. The first one in Port Perry didn't have anything. Um, this is the Oshawa store. These tags that kind of look like chalkboard, I'm not sure if they are, but they have little decorations on them. Um, I was in my excitement, I, I dropped the box and this ended up ripping off and I gave Maggie a set of the cards. I found one, but Victoria from Victoria Creates Crafts and Creates said she was going to mail me some. Victoria, you can still do that because I'll share what I have, okay? So I'm happy to share as well. I just need at least one set, just just to have, right? Like Maggie was, was asking, what would I do with them? And I said they're more for texture than anything. 
Um, so I got that. The box is smaller than I thought, but I'm still very pleased with it. We found this, this is new. It's called craft fabric, but it almost feels like interfacing. So we're not quite sure what to do with it. So we bought one each. <laughs> when you don't know, buy. And this was some of the papers we found in Oshawa. So a pack of that. And I know you've seen these before. That's why I'm going really fast. These are kind of babyish, but not everything is babyish. But again, for $1.25, how can I not buy it? And these books, not to read, not to keep in my library, but to take apart um, and use. I'll show you when I do them what I'm going to do with them. This will probably be turned into a... Uh, I'm not sure who did it. Was it Gail? Gail Agostinelli, I think, got, it, got the idea from somebody where what they what this person did was she would glue her scraps her cut scraps onto these pages and then went and then on the back she'd glue scraps of like neutral and then when this page was done she could cut it out and then she would have journaling cards or tags like what a great idea so and then you can like if you're working with specific paper like then this will match right like all the scraps will match so I thought, what a great idea. So that's what that book is for. And this book, I'm going to, I know, sorry, Mother Teresa. I'm going to make it into a stamp book where I keep my postage stamps that are canceled that I use in crafts. So because I can't find a stamp album anywhere, I have to make my own. Um, so that was that store. And then because the main thing I'm looking for at Dollarama are the wooden boxes so I can make my own ink stand, which um, I'll show you if I ever get to do it. I'll tell you more about it then. But anyway, I couldn't find any wooden boxes in any of the Dollar Trees. I did not go to all of them because the lineups, as it got later in the afternoon, the lineups were, were crazy and I'd walk in just to be disappointed. So I walked into my Dollar Tree, one of my two Dollar Trees. I did not go to the other one. They did not have any boxes. But I found this. The, most of this I found in the stationery section, not the craft section. How odd, right? So this, this is chalkboard paper roll, but they also had adhesive rolls mixed in with it. So I got one chalk, one chalkboard. Um, these are mason jar tags, three. I just thought they were so cute. Sorry, I just thought they were so cute, so I bought that. I grabbed the only two that I saw of these banners chalkboard banners they're so cute I mean they would be just so good um I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them but they they will just make a beautiful garland right like because you can just write on it um these I found in the craft section I bought another one of the creams and this I knew I was missing something in the other store in the Oshawa store like there was something else to go with the cream with the etching cream and this is the mixing tool kit so I bought two of those forgetting I had bought a third um cream but that doesn't matter and then I found these again in the stationery section so I bought two of these photo frames okay they're like Polaroid two of these that seem to have different colors and designs okay and two of these these are like travel ones and then I'm not even sure what this is but I bought two of them <laughs> uh, what's it called Photo overlays, so I guess just to add some color and interest, sorry, I guess that's what you do, that's what happens. So, I bought two of those. And that was what I did today. Considering, I know it's a lot, but yet at the same time, for me, I didn't really buy a lot. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm happy I can now walk into a store, and even though there might be a lineup, and the Michaels lineup to leave was 25 minutes or almost 30 minutes for us because they had at one point one cashier then they added another then they finally added a third but by then everyone who was in the store was in line like it was effing crazy like I don't understand why they don't have more people working scheduled to work on the first day of shopping you know what I mean like, anyway silly people so that was my shopping from our first day back to shopping um I hope you like my stuff and um, 
yeah, I hope to hear what you guys found on your first day of shopping. And I guess, well, I'll just talk to you guys later. Bye.